four-term New York State Attorney General from 1978 to 1993. I'm very proud to stand next to the next Attorney General of the State of New York, Eric Schneiderman. Uh, I enthusiastically endorse his candidacy. Eric will make an extraordinarily effective and outstanding Attorney General of the State of New York. Uh, he has the intelligence, the independence, the integrity, as well as the vision to maximize that office uh, for the potential of all the people of the State of New York. There's no doubt in my mind that he will vigorously protect consumers, he'll prosecute environmental polluters, he'll enforce the laws to protect the human and civil rights of, of people in New York. And in that regard, it's very important to know that the Attorney General can play a significant role in protecting a woman's right to choose. When I was Attorney General of the state, I was very active on the choice issue. I filed briefs in the United States Supreme Court seeking to protect a woman's right to choose. I made sure that women had access to abortion clinics, which were being blocked by Operation Rescue, those who were opposed to a woman's right to choose, to a woman's right to control her own body. Uh, we prosecuted Randall Terry, the head of Operation Rescue, uh, and indeed he was sentenced and spent time in federal prison as a result of that conviction. So. There is a recognized threat today uh, with respect to a woman's right to choose, a woman's right to control her own body, and it's important to have in the Office of Attorney General someone who is sensitive to that issue, understands that there's a threat, and is ready to utilize all of the powers of the office to keep Roe v. Wade and a woman's right to choose right there for all the women in the state of New York and what happens in New York can have a powerful impact uh, across the country as well. So uh, for many, many reasons, uh, Eric Schneiderman is a wonderful choice uh, for Attorney General and I'm very proud to stand at his side and look forward to his tenure as uh, an outstanding Attorney General of the state of New York. Eric, thank you. Thank you. Um, it is an incredible honor to have the support of Bob Abrams, uh, an extraordinary role role model, really, for attorneys general all over the country who represented the people of New York with distinction for years. And I'm going to follow, as attorney general, the Bob Abrams legacy of public service by aggressively fighting crime and corruption wherever it occurs. I will never stop fighting to protect a woman's right to choose. And as the, the attorney general has just stated, the attorney general of the state of New York plays a critical role in protecting freedom of choice. On my watch, uh, I will be every bit as aggressive and every bit as creative as Bob Abrams was, to the extent I can be, uh, in defending freedom of choice. Um, Bob Abrams knows a lot about this subject, and he's not only one attorney general who worked on this, he proved through his creativity that the New York State Attorney General can play really a, sort of a role of national leadership in protecting freedom of choice. Um, his office, when Operation Rescue was blocking in clinics in Buffalo and in Westchester, developed this concept of the zone of privacy and obtained injunctions that were then served as a national model. So it does make a big difference who the Attorney General is on this issue. Uh, and on so many other issues, I hope to emulate Bob Abrams, uh, his work protecting consumers, his work protecting homeowners, his work protecting people who, in their deals with the healthcare system really was what made the Attorney General's office what it is today, a great office, and I look forward to following in his tradition and to continuing uh, the kind of aggressive, progressive approach to being an Attorney General who fights crime and corruption as Bob Abrams pioneered. Thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Abrams, I know that Mr. Snyderman cannot answer my question. However, how do you feel about Pedro Espada, she will be prosecuted and kicked out of the Senate. I mean, he's out of the Senate, by the way. Well, I, I'm here to, to focus on a singular issue, an issue that's very, very important, and that is to make sure that the people understand who Eric Schneider is, the depth of his background, the quality of his experience, uh, the qualities that he has uh, coming to that office, and so. Uh, I'd like to focus entirely but on the issue it, of Schneiderman being the next attorney. It, the general issue of state. corruption is not an important issue in New York State? Of course it's an important issue, and I think Eric Schneiderman throughout the campaign 
uh, spoke uh, powerfully and elo eloquently about utilizing the Office of Attorney General to, to fight corruption. He demonstrated in the course of his career that he's an independent force. He took on his own party. He took on uh, somebody who was a member of the, uh, of the New York State Senate to oust him because he thought that was what was required and what was in the public interest. So there's no question in my mind that Eric Scheinman will stand up on the issue of corruption, protecting a woman's right to choose, protecting uh, individual consumers against very powerful corporate interests. Uh, Eric has demonstrated that kind of uh, commitment to public service throughout his career. Yes. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. Um,